Hello everyone, it's Constance. Welcome to the Hormone Diaries Part 8. It has been roughly, a, well, a little bit more than a year and a half since I've been on HRT. And that's hormone replacement therapy, for those of you who don't know. And it's been an interesting journey. And next month, it's going to be two years since I officially came out as transgender. Um, I'm excited to celebrate that. And, yeah. So let's dive into some of the specifics. First off, I want to discuss, as I did in my last Hormone Diary episode, um, that... I had to switch gender affirming care providers and uh, that's because my former clinic had to close the doors because of political and legislative issues and um, I sought refuge in Planned Parenthood which does gender affirming care as well and is heck of a lot closer. Um, but I was very skeptical about that because I wasn't sure that I would get the level of care that I had received from my previous clinic. And so I had my first appointment and it went tremendously well. In fact, they were very thorough. I was very impressed with that. So that was remarkable. And it turns out I'm being put back on um, oral tablets instead of intramuscular injections for both my estrogen and progesterone. Um, which is fine. Um, I was I was wanting to be on the injections because you get results a little bit faster. Um, but getting poked by a needle three times a week, um, just wasn't in my wheelhouse like I thought it would be. So, uh, daily doses of an oral tablet is just fine for me. <laughs> Even though there's a higher risk of blood clots, but I'm willing to take that risk. So as far as some of the results go, um, one of the biggest ones obviously is breast formation and I've been sitting at an A cup for quite a while. I, I'm nearing a B and, um, and I'm pretty stoked about that. It seems as if more developing is taking place, and that is making me happy. Um, for so long, I had to go and wear breast forms because I didn't have breasts. And now they're coming in nicely, and I couldn't be more excited about that. And I hope there's some more development in the future. Um, based on my genetics, I should be a bit more endowed. So, um, as many other trans women have told me, trust the process. Fat redistribution is also another thing with HRT. And that basically means that there can be areas of your body that are redistributing fat uh, to other areas of the body where it typically wasn't before. And that's typically the hips and the buttocks. And 
For the longest time, I thought I was getting some development in my hips and my butt. Um, that's not been the case, or if it has, I've lost that weight um, because of changing diets. And um, a lot of it just seems to sit in my midsection, and I have not been pleased with that. However, I'd say within the last month or so, I have noticed that my hips have widened a little bit. Um, so I haven't done any measurements in quite some time. I was going to keep a good record of that, but I just haven't because I didn't feel that the changes were progressing fast enough to really detail those those important factors so yeah but I have noticed skin softening this is something that happened very early on and it's something either I've gotten used to or the fact that um, I've always had very dry skin um, except on my face where it's been very oily um, I don't seem to notice as much anymore. Um, so that's something that I, I think, and it's really hard to because we're getting into the fall and winter months and my t skin tends to get dried out even worse during those months. So that's kind of a hard thing for me to notice. The emotions. Oh, well, considering that I'm on antidepressants and anxiety medicine, I've felt those changes go by the wayside. Um, it's just something that hasn't affected me because I think of those reasons. However, most recently, I lost my dear aunt, and the emotional effect that it's had on me has been far greater than what I ever thought possible. Um, so I don't know if the hormones have something to do with that, or it's just my natural process of grieving. Um, but it's been extremely wild. Um, and still wild. I'm still having my struggles with it. And it's been almost two weeks. So, so yeah, there's that. So that is an update on my hormone diaries. I, um invite you to ask any questions you uh, would like to as long as you're being respectful and um, non-bullying. Um, comments like that will get you reported and blocked. I don't play around. There's no room for hate on this channel. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you'd like to help the channel grow. You can do so by following the links in the description. The notification bell is there if you'd like to be notified whenever Redson Productions upload the video. And as always, love and light to you all.